Good morning, everyone. I hope you're well and, uh, and keeping warm. Um, we're uh, continuing to look at uh, Mark's Gospel, and uh, again, we're looking forward to, to Sunday when we're able to meet together for, for worship virtually. Um, but still, I hope you'll, you'll uh, sit down in front of whatever you watch uh, the service on at 11 o'clock on Sunday and join us for worship. Um, I'm going to read from Mark chapter 6. Uh, verses 30 to 44, probably one of the most famous incidents uh, in uh, the Gospels uh, and uh, one that we need to pay attention to. Mark 6, beginning at verse 30. The apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, come away by yourselves to a desolate place and rest a while. For many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a desolate place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognised them. And they ran there on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When it grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place and the hour is now late. Send them away to go into the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered them, you give them something to eat. And they said to him, shall we go and buy 200 denarii worth of bread and give it to them to eat? And he said to them, how many loaves do you have? Go and see. When they'd found out, they said, five and two fish. Then he commanded them all to sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups by hundreds and by fifties. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples to set before the people. And he divided the two fish among them all. And they all ate and were satisfied. They took up 12 baskets full of broken pieces and of the fish. And those who ate the loaves were 5,000 men. I wonder what one word you will use uh, if you were just given one adjective, one word to use to describe Jesus, what would it be? It's hard, I guess, to come up with one, but I think one that, that stands out whenever we look at his ministry in the Gospels uh, is the word compassionate. Compassionate. He just seems to have an instinctive uh, compassion for, for people and understanding of what they're going through. To be compassionate is to suffer alongside someone. That's literally what it means. Uh, so when Jesus is showing compassion, he is, he is stepping into that person's situation. He's feeling what they feel. He's understanding where they're coming from. And Jesus shows compassion in, in, in actually three particular ways here. He shows compassion to the apostles as they come back from their, their teaching tour and he recognises straight away that what they need now is rest. That they've expended themselves, they've given themselves, they have, uh, they've seen great things happening and maybe they're coming back on a high but he knows that what they need before they do anything else is to rest, to, to regroup, to recharge those batteries and that's true for so many of us we uh, we can keep going and going and going but ultimately there are times when we need rest we need sabbath the kind of sabbath that he's built in to our lives that one in seven pattern we all need that because we can't keep giving and giving and giving we can't keep working and working and working we need rest and so he tells these disciples, come away you, by yourselves for a while and let's rest. Let's just relax and recharge our batteries. But he also displays compassion then whenever the crowd turns up at the place where they've decided to take their rest. This crowd, see them going off. They follow them round the lake. They're, maybe they're keeping the, the boat in sight as they follow them round the lake. And they get to the place where this rest had been planned wasn't part of the plan that this place be crowded with people but they come they're not seeking physical healing because they've just uh, marched 
from where Jesus was around the side of the lake to get to where he is. So they've not come for physical healing. Uh, they've come for his teaching. They're hungry for his teaching. They've never heard anything like before. They want to hear more from this man. And he has, Mark tells us, compassion on them because he sees them like sheep without a shepherd. Like folk who don't know what direction to turn, don't know where they're going, don't don't know what to do next or where to go next. And he has compassion on them because of that. And so instead of the rest that he had planned, he teaches them. He uh, he sets he sees their need and he provides for them. And the third way in which he shows compassion is in a very practical way, by providing them with food. He challenges the disciples, first of all, to respond to the physical needs of the people. Maybe the disciples came to him and said, it's a desolate place, um, send them away to the villages around here to get some food, and in the meantime we can get that rest that you talked about. Jesus challenges them, first of all, to show compassion for the, the people. And then also to provide food themselves. And you can hear the kind of the, the sarcasm and the response. Jesus, where are we going to get 200 denarii? Which is about uh, a year's wages or so. Or 200 days wages. So Jesus is saying, you know, go and, you go and get food. And the disciples are like, well, where are we going to get the money to feed all these people? And then Jesus provides what is needed. From five loaves and two fish, Jesus provides. He sees the need and he provides. Jesus is the ultimate compassionate one. He knows your need today, whatever it is. And we all have different needs as we go through this pandemic. We all wake up feeling, feeling different every day. He is compassionate. He knows your need today. He knows that more than that, that the need behind all of our needs is more of him. And today he will provide for you more of him to nourish you in your spirit, to keep you going, to give you rest, uh, to teach and lead you as you move forward into this day. He knows what you need and he is what you need and he will provide. God bless.